not at all. <laughs> this is Derek Forrester helping me. Thank you much. Here they are. <laughs> now this is where I dumped the ones off the package um, earlier. They're still pretty calm. Her queen, the queen case. Ooh. That's what I did. <laughs> <Right there. laughs> Look at the cone they've already built right there. Yeah, I was encouraged by that. I was hoping I hadn't. They're on this right here too. One thing I see that you need a divider that you can put here. The divider is right plate. here. They came to the divider. You put put it up here where they can get them all yeah. up here. Yeah. See, that's what I was going to do. Oh look, they started comb on my frame. Look right there. One. Yep. That's Haven't they? Or are they just gathered there? Where's the queen cage? It's over by the found. See, I put it by the foundation. The queen's cage is right there, Derek. It's, it's, the it's at the bottom of the foundation one oh, because I, I thought they would take to it. Yeah. My jacket's in the truck, Steve. See, this is the candy. I, I opened the wrong end. Yeah. What you do when, when you do that, you pop this out, this end out. I opened the wrong end. And then you can stick a nail through right. about just about halfway through that. You know what happened? And then they will um, they will eat through that. When they told me I had picked up the package a day late, uh -huh. I thought they had already eaten the candy the, the, out of there. Right. I didn't realize that it was that thing. much. Yeah, and then they'll clean that completely out. That's the new. That's the new. But me. you just take the. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> but the next time, just t take this out and stick your nail about halfway up through this sugar yeah. candy. See, I had that's a nail and everything ready to go, uh -huh. and I thought it was just between here and there. I, didn't, I thought it was just a small amount. Now it's always on this end. Okay. And then they'll they'll eat eat in there, and it usually takes about three days for them to do that. Huh. Well, I hope she's in there. Uh, I'd say she's in this cluster right here. That's what I was hoping. She's probably in this right here. But they're still pretty calm. No, the main one got me. Hopefully, I always get you, not me. But that's the only thing I would do is to get, if you can get the bees up here and put that divider up here to where they're cut off from this part back here and just bring it back as they build it up. They've just done that since you put that in though. Yeah. Yeah. That's only two, two and a half days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was glad to see that. I'm hoping they'll stop. I hope she, will she lay eggs on that small amount of comb? Yeah, yeah, they'll start as quick as she, as she has. To, and that should have. Can I move that whole board? Yep. We want to put it up here. Yeah, one of the reasons I, one of the reasons I made separate boards like that so I could like maneuver things around. I don't squish all them right there. Yeah, we're gonna do that without have to take some frames out, or do you just want to put them? Oh, yeah, well, I can whatever you think I would do. You want me to take some frames? Yeah, let's see where that board comes to, Steve. Might have to be, yeah. Kind of bugs you, man. Little fisher, what do they call them? Silverfish? Something. Let me take that frame out. Uh, no, I just kind of crack, crowd them in there a little bit. Oh, okay. So you know what to do, I don't. <laughs> well, I don't. Other than that might help. Mm -hmm. You don't want to leave it open uh, like that too long because if you do, they'll. they'll 
make a mess in here. They won't put right. it on the frame, but I would take this divider and move them all up this way. Well, let me ask you this. <clears throat> if I take this, do I need to take one of these um, Um, do I need to take one of those pieces? Well, they're all on the bottom, though, aren't they? What's that? See, the reason I can't... Where's my divider? That okay. divider, it causes that piece of plywood in the bottom. Oh, it won't go down over here? It won't go because of this right here. See this little strip I've got right here? Yep. Can you make you another one? Yeah, that's a good idea. Duh. <laughs> If you'll do that, and if you'll crowd them up here, they'll they'll start like building these make frames. Like frame, up. top of a frame. Here. Yeah, they've got too much room, and they are kind of confused on what they need to do. Well, this this frame's going to be okay. Is that have yep. they started there, or are they just is that just clumps? Might be where she's at. There's quite a bit of them dying out. It's just a clump of bees. Yeah, that was from being in there two, a day longer than I was supposed to. I didn't. I picked them up a day late accidentally. I didn't mean to. Yeah. The dividers we make, we do something like this, and then just put the board. Use something like this. Uh huh. And then just put it down. And then it's possible that's the they're divider. fixing to get started on them though, because they're. Um, so you might have to put some board right across here. And... We keep crowding them up in on this end, getting them that way. Okay. Maybe. Will you say something about your business? My, my woodware business. Yeah. I build all of the hives and uh, uh, boxes. Uh, we we sell. We're getting into selling beekeeping supplies now. And you're you're. It's Forester Farms. Forester Farms and Apiary. And it's on. Um, it's you're on Facebook, right? Yes, Facebook. And you have you have a website. Not yet. Okay. Well, Facebook's good enough. Right? Yeah, it works good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you for coming out and helping me. You're more than I welcome. I feel better That's already. I, I like to do. I enjoyed the bees. That's. Uh, I I I, I knew I was good. going to enjoy them, and I've only had them two and a half days, and I already right. love them. So yep. <laughs> I can't wait. To... You'll enjoy it the more they get established and get to going. Uh, I think these will do fine. They just need that. If you'll get that divider in there. And that'll get them uniform in the front of it. Kind of more working. consolidated or yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that'll do good. Well, if you're watching this, <laughs> Derek, thank you. <laughs> uh, I feel much better now. He said they were doing pretty good uh, for what they'd gone through, basically. And um, so I'm excited. Um, one thing I probably didn't show on video because I was trying to help was um, consolidating the hive. We were we moved them down, um, and I'm going to make a new divider that will fit in there on top of this plywood bottom that I have laying in there. Because when I first put them in, it was supposed to be 45 degrees or so, so I left a plywood bottom. I didn't want you know I have a screened bottom. But since it's off the ground like it is, I was afraid wind would be flipping around underneath and uh, they would be uh, having to work extra hard after all that they had already been through <laughs> to keep warm. So I put a plywood bottom in there, which meant my divider didn't go all the way down, which meant it had to be at the end of the plywood, which meant, you know, a brand new hive was like 30 something inches long with frames missing. So they naturally, just started building on the bottom of my top boards. Um, so anyway, I'll eventually get that fixed. And uh, so, um, but the beekeeping community, really just like the, you know, it's funny because there's a lot of communities that are sort of related. The prepping, you know, survival. Um, you see these people, a lot of people tend to sort of have the same philosophy and uh, running the same circles, you know. Um, so a lot of your, um, you know, preppers will actually have beehives because it's a very sustainable thing. Um, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, and like homesteaders, a lot of homesteaders like Wrangler Star, people like that uh, have uh, beehives. So anyway, uh, they'll have to preach to you about the benefits of bees. But um, 
it's the brotherhood of beekeepers and uh, the sisterhood it's all one brotherhood uh, it's really strong and and um, you know I offered to pay him and he wouldn't take any you know anything from me uh, but one thing I can do is start buying woodenware and supplies from him so that's what I want going to do and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some typical Langstroth hives um, and to maybe do some splits in or something like that um, and then I'll build another hive with, with some correction with some design changes I've already got where that top board uh, is notched into the outer board where it doesn't rely on sitting on top of the frames because if I have a frame missing it leans so anyway got good ideas for the next hive and uh, after that one we'll probably be ready <laughs> for people to if they want one to buy one we'll never be able to make any money on them because it takes <laughs> forever to make them but just you know just to want to kind of spread that around if people want one we'll we'll build you one so anyway uh thanks a lot guys and see you around for the next bee vlog <laughs>